Hey there guys, I caught a storm in early July that was the biggest and strongest storm that I've, I've yet to encounter. It started out as a single cell and then another cell popped up behind it as you can see here. Eventually it t ended up taking up almost entire north part of Oklahoma and it kind of swept down into a line and gained strength, surprising amount of strength. At, at some points this storm looked like it was sitting still. At other points, I was driving 50 miles an hour, and I could not get away from it on these dirt roads. Learned a lot about not driving on dirt roads, but anyway, this is the story. I've got so much to say that I'm going to narrate part of it. All right, guys, we are in northeast Oklahoma, Miami. Up here, we've got a nice size storm with a hail core and some warnings. And a second core back there. So, two cells. Let's go chase it. Okay, so that way would be north. It looks pretty massive, so we got to be be a little careful. But uh, we're just going to let it come to us and hang off to the side. And here we are. There it is. It's very bright here, very dark there. It's just coming straight at us. So, all right, guys, we are on to a really good storm right now. Pretty big cell, and this is what it looks like. We got the top of the anvil that way will be west we are looking to the north and my escape path is that highway that runs east and west this looks like a an old rodeo place or something on this dirt road yep we're in the leading edge of the storm it has been crazy hot today temperatures approaching 94 95 but it feels like 102 very humid i don't have my instruments with me to read the actual humidity but I don't see any definition yet in this storm definitely hail in it um, but right now it's just kind of a blob I might get a little bit closer since we're we're this far out let's go get closer okay we are here in Quapaw Oklahoma railroad track uh, not exactly sure where this storm is kind of coming at us we want to make sure obviously hey there's my modest clouds uh, we want to make sure we're not. There's definitely a, a hail core in this, and there's a cell behind it as well. And then you can see the uh, leading edge right there. Interesting. Coming right at us. There ain't going to be no sideways winds, though, are there? Yeah, right there, Charlie. I don't think so. You I think it'll be just heavy rain. Too. Usually they're heavy rain. It's almost never a tornado. I've been doing this a couple years. I've never seen one yet. Well, let's go get closer. We're going to try to get closer. All right. All right. Sorry, get... That's all right. <laughs> We're always on the move. All right. So we are a little bit too much in front of the storm. So we're going to, we're heading west to get out from under. It's still very, very warm and moist. Annoyingly warm. I've got a bit of a problem with the roads. There's a river going that way, and so you can't keep going that way, yet the storm is. Hi, cows, how's it going? Whoa. Lots of uh, thunder right now. I can't, uh, this, the, the storm's getting interesting over here. All right, there's, there's lightning. I'm getting back in my car. The clouds are really cool up there. Wow, so dark. I, I haven't seen it that dark in a long time. But we are right on the edge of it right here still on these dirt roads it has those uh, wall cloud fingers uh, I don't know what else how else to describe it it has the wall cloud fingers right there whoa look at all this dust that's probably from our driving actually getting a little bit antsy but that's the interesting part right there um, I gotta stay ahead of it though I want to stay ahead of it I gotta keep going. And we're doing the zigzag down a mile over down a mile over a mile and we're staying on top of this what i might be a little too close but i don't know if this is a a wall cloud or not but that looks creepy wow uh my escape path is that way
uh, it's not rotating like that, but it's got a lot of churning going on. All right, we're gonna keep an eye on this and stay in front of it. Uh, we're gonna keep a little bit more distance than this. passenger window you can see the low hanging clouds coming to it and I'm going underneath it and the thing has picked up a lot of speed I'm having a hard time outrunning it right now I'm entering this little town here and you can kind of get the feeling that I'm getting out from underneath it but it's still back there this thing really picked up speed it went it went from looking like it was standing still to going 50 to 60 miles an hour and it caught me like nothing. Now I'm paying attention to the road at this point, but look at what in the center of the screen there. It looks almost like a circle with a funnel coming down. Do you see that right there in the middle of the screen? I'm gonna zoom in. That was something that looked most extraordinary. Okay, here I found a good place to stop with an escape path where I got ahead of the storm and watched it roll in. And really nice view right here, but I was watching people go from left to right straight into that storm. Got a good road here, a real good road to escape path. And these winds have been really strong. edge of this storm right here and it is what you know that's
got some rotation in it. That looks like a counterclockwise swirl. We are actually, this is part of three cells, big ones. Three big cells, and we are out of its range down here with an, an escape valve. shut I feel pretty good here safe wise there are lots of cars going that way lots of cars going that way there's another cell after this one the darkest I've ever seen them in a storm. It's just very, very thick. 